Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now April 12th of 2024 and given that Marvel Studios, at least for 2025, it is not looking good at all. We know it and they know it. Bob Iger is very well aware about that. That's exactly why he's been going into endless damage control, revolving around the reshoots and the rewrites for Captain America 4, as well as all the changes and alterations being made for Blade 2025. And basically how a lot of fans are already beginning to push back against Fantastic Four based on what's been going on with Female Silver Surfer. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. Now, focusing on Hugh Jackman, we know that he is very much important in the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine film. Disney is really banking on his appearance of Wolverine to sell this movie. That's also a main reason why people want to go ahead and see Deadpool 3. It's one of the major reasons why it most likely is going to attract customers in there. Now, we already know that there's an ongoing battle between... Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, uh, Sean Levy, the director, and the rest of the writers over at Deadpool 3, going up against the Disney heads for the looming rewrites to incorporate elements of DEI. They've had a lot of victories rather than losses, so so far so good, but focusing on Jackman here, this is where things begin to unravel and how it's not working in Disney's favor. Let's get into all of this. Now specifically, of course, we already know that Jackman has had his issues with Disney behind the scenes related to Deadpool 3 for various reasons. We talked about the multiple scenes that were deleted that Disney still refuses to reinstate to this very day. However, with the Walt Disney Company already beginning to double down on their cost-cutting measures for everything Marvel and Star Wars, one major development now has to do with Hugh Jackman in an ongoing battle with the Disney heads over recent drama that emerged for Deadpool 3. One significant update to the entire situation involves how Hugh Jackman recently gave Disney a serious ultimatum revolving around the third Deadpool film and his involvement with Marvel Phase 6 and 7. Already Jackman, his agent and manager, are going up against Disney's usage of DEI and their agenda with the planned reshoots for Deadpool 3 and why he has a problem with it. Already Jackman recently refused to appear in three Marvel related projects, two of which were going to be Disney plus Marvel shows focusing on mutants, as well as one other film that was going to serve as a Deadpool 3 spin-off, quote unquote. All of these projects were focusing on DEI over the story and was being pushed by those like Bob Iger and Kevin Feige. This ultimately led to Jackman reorganizing his plan as an actor with the Marvel Universe and decided to back out of those projects quite rapidly after Disney refused to back off from using DEI elements and aspects in those projects, especially with the Deadpool 3 spin-off film that was mapped out to release sometime by 2027. Now Jackman essentially put a stake in both Disney and Marvel Studios since those projects were going to be 100% reliant on the appearance of Wolverine and Hugh Jackman's involvement with the character. Jackman also made this call and this decision of his with his agent and manager after Disney decided to cancel all of his best scenes from the first act of Deadpool 3 two months ago that involved flashback scenes of him fighting in the Civil War, World War II, and even Vietnam. Both Bob Iger and Kevin Feige's argument and way of justifying the cancellation of those scenes is that they were way too violent even for a rated R film. And after many negotiations between Jackman and Disney, they still refused to reinstate his most difficult scenes that he worked on that were very time consuming and get this, took hours of training in the process. Right now, Feige and Iger are reportedly panicking as Iger recently put together another emergency meeting related to Marvel's Phase 6 and 7 plans now that Jackman bailed out of those projects, and Disney in turn canceled those projects after Jackman took a stand against their agenda. However, as of now, Jackman is still returning for the most part for Avengers Secret Wars, and he is also making major demands with that film. He is reportedly only willing to stay on the production for that if he gets to work with Ryan Reynolds again, as well as incorporating Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man as he knows what the fans want to see on the big screen and doesn't want it to disappoint fans. Now guys, let me just stop here for one moment. Now about this, 
We know that Deadpool 3 is the one movie that could very well, you know, uh, make money if Ryan and crew phase out all of Disney's ideas and concepts of DEI getting shoehorned into the third act. Now, I think that if Ryan and Hugh stand their ground and they stay strong, they're going to be able to successfully do that from the last week of April until the very end of May, which, by the way, is how long the reshoots are going to last. Now, I think that Jackman made a very good call on backing out of those projects without really kind of, uh, you know, extending the negotiations for those three Marvel projects, like I said, two of which were Marvel TV shows, focusing on the X-Men, one of which was a Deadpool 3 spin-off, quote-unquote, if you even want to call it a sequel. Now, interestingly, we know that Kevin Feige and Bob Iger know that Hugh Jackman is going to be a moneymaker. He is going to be basically the modern version of Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. That's basically the plan right now. They know that he's going to bring in money. He's going to bring in, you know, whopping box office records. If there's a good story, if Wolverine gets a very good shine in those films and or projects, that's what Disney's banking on. And to have lost three whole projects now, starring Hugh Jackman in MCU's Phase 6 and Phase 7, they're already beginning to go into damage control on reorganizing their entire Marvel layout, or their slate, if you will, when it comes to the current phase and, of course, what's going on with Phase 7. Now, interestingly enough, on top of this, to cap things off, this is ultimately what gave Jackman the strength to make these calls against Bob Iger and Kevin Feige. And though Jackman lost three projects in the process, Disney is already losing money now on less appearances of Wolverine and Hugh Jackman in Marvel Phase 6 and 7, and television programs for Disney Plus as well. So again, I think that Jackman knows what's going on, and I'm also, you know, uh, led to believe that he is putting his age in factor here. He knows that he's getting up there in age. He can't really quite keep up with all of this work, years and years of training and doing these massive roles. I can understand that. We know that Hugh Jackman talked about that a couple of months ago, that, you know, he is getting up there in age and it can be physically demanding at that point in his life to really kind of bring back the role of Wolverine. Now, so far from what we actually talked about, he did a fantastic job with Deadpool 3 as far as the stunts go, as far as the action scenes go. Uh, a lot of scenes he didn't even need a stunt double, which is very surprising for Hugh Jackman. I mean, this guy is like a bull, alright, he can really do things. But when you look at Bob Iger and Kevin Feige, they simply do not care about any kind of a consequence, seemingly, to a degree, based on keeping their DEI elements. They want to double down on that. Even Hugh Jackman backing down did not change their mind, which is very revealing and very telling about what's looming for Marvel Phase 6 and 7. Of course, their overall game plan right now is to sprinkle in some movies and or TV shows that kind of lightens up on DEI a little bit to trick the audience into believing that change will be made. But let's be clear, and I've said this many times, it'll only be a temporary solution. So overall, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.